The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We'll start the show like we always do, looking at the German DAX and the FTSE. And as you can see, they are making uh, some type of a topping pattern, especially the German DAX. It's uh, much... Uh, it's turned much weaker than the FTSE, which is really quite surprising. And that leads us to our first question of the day that we got from our friend way across the pond over there in Denmark. And I wanted to bring up this chart and show it to you because this is a question that I get all the time. This is a question that came out, and that is this. He's trading the FTSE, and as you can see here, we have a double ABCD patterns. The first one ended at 2 o'clock. Uh, oh, excuse me, on the second, you can see that this is a 30-minute chart. And then the next one went up today into the third, stopping exactly at the 78% level, which was a Gartley. And he went short there at 71.80, and you saw the big move down. Well, in the email, the question was, do I get out here or do I hold for longer? Folks, that's the perpetual question that will be around forever. No one knows the answer to that, but we do have some indication that because this pattern is so hard to the downside odds favor that it's going to go down to that 7100 level which would be the abcd pattern this is what people do when you're trading a 30 minute chart don't go looking at a daily don't go looking at a weekly look at the 30 minute chart you're only in it for a day or two so that's what you have to focus on and if you'll go back and look at history you'll see that we broke down into that level i don't know if we went much lower than that but it does uh, answer the question that you have to stick to the t time frame that you're trading. Very, very important. Tim Bost will be our guest at the break. Always a great show. And then on Tuesday, we have a very special show. We're going to have Mr. Joe DiNapoli, and uh, he's going to basically be on the whole show. Uh, we'll be uh, going back and forth, and it's going to be on a video. Joe asked to be put on video, so we're going to do a video show on Tuesday the um, 6th of uh, September when we get back. Today is an anniversary date. This was the high of the stock market in 1929. The market topped at 383 uh, over the next, from 383 into um, the, the crash of October 29th of 1929. Uh, it dropped from 383 down to about 180. That was the crash day. Uh, the crash was not the low day. The low day was on November the 11th, as I recall. The, uh, the, the Christ Day was on the 29th and went lower into the 11th. And then it had a vicious rally. It rallied from the uh, 30th, I believe. It was in the, whatever that day was. I think it was the 12th or 13th of November. Then it rallied very strongly into April Fool's Day, believe it or not. And it was almost at an exact 61% retracement there. And from that level, it went dropped 90% and bottomed on uh, July the 8th at uh, around 40-something uh, in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and then had a rally. And the rally has been continuing up until today. <laughs> so it's been uh, one heck of a rally. Okay, now the question that someone asked me, what's the most important thing that happened this week? I'll tell you, I think there are two things. One is we received this really great ABCD pattern from our good friend, Jim Bartolioni, who's going to be our guest sometime in September. You'll see here that the price objective of this ABCD measured to 15696. The high this week has been 15699. We'll have to talk to him and why that was off by three points. And it tried it three times, folks. It tried it Wednesday, Thursday, and today. Each one of those was slightly lower than the S. We made a higher high in the S&P today at the uh, 4550 uh, level. And we can still go a lot higher because the second most important chart uh, this week was the one that we had in the newsletter. We'll get this up here to uh, take a look at it. These are the long-term ABCD patterns. 
going over the past 10 months, well, 18 months. And you can see there's three of them there, a green one, a gold one, a blue one, and a red one, all measuring to 46.10. Now, the high today in the S&P is 45.50. The difference between 45.10 and 46.10 is really close. So anytime this could happen, whether this is a big anniversary date or not, uh, I'm not really sure of that. But uh, all I would say is we have to keep our eyes and our ears open and watch what the market feedback is going to give us. It hasn't told us any reason uh, to get short yet because the market is still very close to the high. It's a Friday and an up week. We could easily reverse and make new highs today, but uh, we're getting close. Just the question is, is what's going to happen? We have a long three-day weekend coming up. That'll have some indication of what's going on, but uh, let's keep our options open because it's going to be very, very important. Another one that's very important here is the um, picture in uh, Bitcoin. If you like uh, the Fibonacci numbers and if you like patterns, you can see here that we are completing an ABCD pattern up here at the 61% uh, retracement of the high that we made at uh, 64,000 and change. Uh, after dropping down to uh, just under uh, just under 29,000, we made that ABCD pattern, which was right at a 382, and that's completing today right at the 50, 51,000 level. Now, any explosion above this, and you can see a small three-drive pattern here also, but if we start getting about 54,000 in uh, – in Bitcoin, you can be very, very confident it's probably going to make new highs. But right now, we are at the proverbial moment of truth in that, as we are in a whole bunch of other things that we're looking at here today. Okay, now one question that we had, and that is about one of the things that we follow very close, and that is the uh, the silver and gold markets. I want to get these up because we hit some me really major spots here. Uh, up into gold, we got above the 1834 level, which was the long-term 61% retracement. But the most important chart, I think, of all the commodities is the one that's that we're looking at here today. This happens to be the euro. Uh, remember, we uh, we were looking at the euro from the short side. We had a really tight stop on that because of the report coming out, and we went right up to the 382 retracement, folks. At uh, eight, uh, 11900, the high was 1908, so it was in eight pips of that. That's really an important, and it took two weeks to get there. Uh, that's from the high that we made way back in June, so this is really important. We took out all the highs from August and didn't go anywhere. That's the first sign that was something not right. But um, keep a very close eye here on the U.S. dollar now, because if this is correct, the U.S. dollar should start to strengthen. And uh, we're going to find out if that's going to be uh, a very important factor with the gold and silver and some of the other things. So if you look at silver here on the long term uh, chart here, we, we'll just show you the difference between the gold and the silver because there's a huge difference. Pro bring this up here. You'll see that the silver market has got all, almost all the way up to the 618 at $25, uh, $25 an ounce. Uh, it's ex succeeded the 1.618. Uh, expansion number so that next number is uh, right at 2517 but this is a very big ABCD pattern completing and uh, you'll notice uh, where we are compared to the July high we took out well let's get back in just a few minutes 877-927-6648 rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! 
Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the GDX, which is the gold miner, gold and silver miner index. And you can see here it's come off of a double bottom. Uh, we've been rallying for a couple of weeks, but very, very quietly. And you, it's extremely weak compared to the gold and the silver. And when you stop and think where the stock market is, and, you know, I know it's a market of stocks, but uh, that's my uh, really caveat here about being long gold and silver up into these levels. Uh, that was a good buy down there at 1670, but now we're you know $200, $150 higher. So this is not the time to be chasing it, I, I wouldn't think, but we're gonna know more about that in the next few days. Especially the fact that we're looking at this US dollar where it is, make sure you check your charts on that folks, because we're down at major support down there at that 9,200 in the US dollar. Very, very important. I want to switch gears a little bit because people have always asked me, uh, you know, what are the main things that make yourself a good trader or what, what are the skills necessary? And it's, it's really uh, – these are things that I gathered from Mark Douglas, uh, you know, working with him for five years here in the office. But uh, you basically – there are two things that a, uh, that a trader really needs, that the skills that he really needs to do. The first thing he has to do, he has to perceive what his opportunity is. And the second thing is his methodology must encompass what the risk is on the trade. Those are the two things that you really need is perception and the ability to, you know, to, to determine what your risk is on the trade. He has to have a foundation of trust that you must act without hesitation. In other words, you know you're going to lose on certain trades, yet you still have to do them because you don't know which ones are going to be right and which ones are going to be wrong. It's all, all about probability and risk control. That's what, that's what it's all about. You have to follow a set of steps or rules that you have to build for yourself because you've got to look, look at the one chart that is the most important of all, and that's that one in the mirror where you see the left ear and the right ear. That's that most important cycle, that nine-inch cycle that you have to get right because if you get that one right, all the rest of them are okay. 
within that, you have to be able to execute your trades without any hesitation. You don't have to second guess anything. Is it going to go down? Is it going to go up? You see, a, you, see a, you see a pattern. You perceive what it's going to do. You don't know what it's going to do, but you're willing to act on it and risk money to see if you're correct on that. You know you're going to be right better than six out of ten times, usually, and you can do well with four out of ten. I've seen this happen more and more uh, with people that take small losses and, and get, get, gather huge profits. So once you once you can do those things, but the 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 market is the market gives you so many chances, and if you're if you're looking at interday charts all the time, you're 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 switching from a thirty minute to a five minute to a two minute or a one minute. All of these things are popping up, but that that's that's okay if that's the way you want to trade that trade that. But realize when you're trading a one minute chart. You don't go back and look and see what it's doing on a daily. You're trading it on a one-minute chart or a two-minute chart. So you have to perceive that the valid signal that you're looking at is really valid, and that's simple to do. You've got some rules set up for that. How much do you have to risk to see if the darn thing's right? And if you can answer yes to both of those questions, then you've got to take the trade because you don't know which which things are you know down to it. And that comes to the whole premise of doing this. You have to have a foundation of absolutely – absolute trust in everything that you're doing as a trader and take responsibility for it you know there's really not much more than you can uh, do to it than that i mean it, it's simple like mark's always said you know trading is simple but uh you know you, you don't always uh it's not always easy that's true but you know a lot of people ask the question you know why don't i why don't i give myself money and there's you know money's a very very uh, hard thing to with for different things it means different people and stuff but you know the, the the game of trading is to take money out of the market so you always want to you know reward yourself if you have some periods where you think you might be uh you know going on now that leads to the other side of this and that is what are the reasons why most people lose first of it's a lack of knowledge about the market second is poor money management and the third is the lack of a trading approach. If you don't have, if you have all of those, you're going to lose, because the market's made for you to, you know, f you know, buy on on strength and sell on weakness, and you know, get out on weakness and sell on strength. Well, but that that's what it's for. So you've got to have that methodology built in that you're not going to fall for that trap. That's what it's really. Uh, the, the main thing is don't ever get into a trade without a without a reason or without a risk. If you do that, I mean, you know, uh, you know, that's a very, very hard thing to do. You know, it's really. Uh, and then Mark always used to say, if you were granted a wish to be able to instantaneously acquire one trading skill, what would it be? And the uh, universal rule, the answer that came back out of thousands of people would be discipline. And that's why Mark named his first book The Disciplined Trader, because that was the one thing that people wanted was to have that discipline. And the discipline's right there in front of you, folks. You have to do it yourself, but you just realize you have to do those things that are important. Perceive an opportunity, realize what your methodology is, and act without any hesitation on it, and then just keep doing it because you know the odds are in your favor. And that's the real key. Uh, with that Floor Traders Handbook, we did 30,000 trades uh, to come up with these, uh, uh, you know, I odds on, on trading the euro. The fact that the ABCD pattern works as good as anything because it's the most actively traded thing in the world. And it doesn't work all the time, but it works better than 60% of the time. And it'll pay you better than two to one. And no place in Las Vegas can you get odds like that. It's just absolutely impossible to do that. It's just no other way that uh, you can really do it. So uh, another thing that I think is important that we used to chat about here, and Mark used to <laughs> tell me about it, because when my, my trades that didn't work, if I just reversed them, it would have made a lot of money. But remember the quote from uh, Paul Tudor Jones, lose your opinion instead of your money, because that's the important thing. There's no disgrace in guessing wrong. The mistake is in staying wrong. You know, the two mistakes, you know, like Warren Buffett's two rules. Never rule number one, never lose any money. Rule number two, don't violate rule number one. Well, that's the same thing in trading. You've got to have those rules and don't violate them. Um, keep them sacred to you that you don't want to increase your risk under any circumstances. And the worst thing you can possibly do in trading, even worse, even worse than not using a stop, is to adding to a losing position. When you're adding to a losing position, you're doing two things. You're increasing your margin exposure. And the second thing is, is you're adding to a trade that's already not working. 
And that's not a good thing to do. You want to add to the winners, cut back on the losers, and you're going to be far better off if you do that than if you start guessing and doing things like that. I'm going to start doing more psychological stuff like this on the show because I know you guys get tired of looking at these silly little ABCD patterns and all the other stuff that uh, we do to look at trading. And the most important thing is the things that is involved in the uh, – in the uh, hold on a second, oh my goodness, there's a little spider here. Shut the front door. Oh wow, well. whoa, 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 where'd he go? Oh my goodness, there's a spider, spider everywhere. Holy cow, got him! Holy cow, I've never seen a spider in his house. Wonder what that means. Hmm, there must be some psychologist out there can tell me that I've just seen a spider crawling across my desk here, and I just can't ever believe that before. Hmm. Oh, it says right here he was here to uh, observe my trading. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Listen, we're going to have Tim Boston. He's going to give us some great information as always. And remember, uh, Tim, um, Joe DiNapoli on Tuesday. And Monday is a black day. We're going to be closed. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, unfortunately, we're having a technical difficulty uh, with uh, getting Tim, but we're going to get him on just as soon as we possibly can. I wanted to cover a couple of charts that I think are important because we've talked about them before. 
and they're doing something that is a little bit different than uh, one would expect. And I uh, put up the chart here of Tesla here because uh, this is a uh, very important one because if this, in fact, continues, it's going to be a really good piece of market information. Uh, as you can see here, when we get this up here, you'll be able to see that we've had this big move here. Uh, okay, I'm going to bring the slide. Uh, I, I, we're just not able to get Tim yet, folks. I'm trying. You notice here, we, we took out the 78% level, which was resistance at 730. We went up to 7, uh, 738. Uh, actually, 741. And now we've reversed back down below that. Folks, that was a 10-day run, and now it's starting to go over. So that may or may not be very, very strong uh, resistance. I'm not quite sure, but uh, the, the fact that it didn't go flying above the 78% level was really quite surprising because it had every reason to do so, considering the NASDAQ you know, has been on a, you know, a holy tear. And uh, this has been running the market. So when, when the NASDAQ finally gives up the ghost, I think you're going to see some pretty big moves that will really be surprising to uh, you know some people uh, for that. And I wanted to also mention here with the Russell, because we've had this big run here uh, in the Russell here this week. Uh, it's had a tremendous rally uh, starting uh, with the beginning of the week and uh, beginning of last week. And you'll notice here that we got all the way up to the 78% level of that last move. Let me get this chart up here so we can see it, because this is extremely important uh, from a technical standpoint, the fact that it stopped exactly at the 78% level. We took out the previous day's high by two points up there at uh, 2310. And uh, that is a another one that looks, uh, this is still in a bear market because we topped way back you know, on uh, in in March, actually, or the high in the uh, was made on March the fifteenth. Uh, in that, and that, if you look at this, just on a on a longer term basis, I'll draw this up because this would make this a one three five pattern. I'll draw it in so that you can see it because it has some really interesting patterns here to look at. But you'll notice that this is still being in a downtrend. And you can see the 135 pattern that is there. That That is the pattern that we got from uh, Roy Longstreet and his son Bill. And that's when it ha stops exactly at the 78% level two days in a row. Boy, that really quantifies what your risk is. And that's the, the whole key to looking at it. But this market has not given any indication that it wants to turn down yet. We've seen some you know, variations in the Dow Jones not making new highs, the New York Stock Exchange Index not making new highs, Russell not making new highs, but other indices, you know, like the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 have been going up. But the NASDAQ, remember, is only about 20 stocks, and the S&P is about 40 or 50 stocks. So out of the 8,000 or so stocks, that's not very many. That's why it's a market of stocks and not a stock market. You've got to remind yourself that each one of those is certainly uh, important as you're looking at these. Now, let's. Uh, one of the stocks that we will always watch as a key, of course, is the Apple. And I want to get it up here so we can see where we are today because we're back up to that same level. Just give me one second. This is the daily now. Uh, that we're looking at here in Apple. And it'll only take me one second to get this up, and we will be ready to go. And here we go. We'll get it up here and take a quick look at it. You'll see here, here's Apple still making that three drive to a top pattern. We're, we're still way above the 127 level. We do have an ABCD up there at 154, but it uh, did make new highs. Uh, you know, we backed off just like we should have. And then, uh, you know, away it's been going. We've been following this along the way. We knew that, you know, once we cleared the uh, 28 level, it was going to be pretty bullish, and especially when we went above 38. And then uh, we've been all the way up to this. Uh, our original price here was 153, and we got to 154.97. So that's a, a key thing to uh, remember as we're looking at some of these, uh, overlooking these uh, different charts that we're watching. Now let's take a quick look here and take a look at the crude oil market because we've had some big swings in crude here. And uh, you'll notice here, that get this up here. 
Hold on a second, folks. I want to get this out of the way here. Uh, we've had a pretty nice move here. Just get this up here, and we'll be able to see where we are here in the crude. This is a 60-minute chart. Uh, we went short up there at that 69, uh, 39 level. We were able to cover, cover it at uh, 67, 69. That was a really a nice profit. We tried to buy it at the 382 retracement, but that missed by about 60 pips. We didn't get filled there, and so we covered the short, and now we've gone up, and you can see we're making some type of a topping pattern here that we'll look at over the weekend because there's a lot of things to do on this uh, over a long period of time because when you look at when you look at crude oil on a little bit longer time frame, and that's what we're going to do right now here, is you're going to see here that we are setting – right at the 50% retracement. This is a long time. And now, I believe, without further ado, we have the man himself in the house, Mr. Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly. Timothy, good day Welcome. to you, Hello. my friend. How are you, we my got, friend? We finally got the good old internet to work here. This is That's always a, a, a challenge. I, <laughs> I love the technical aspects of this because, by golly, it never stops giving you a chance to learn. Now, yeah, what are we? Uh, we're going to be talking here about the uh, your Astro Cycles projections for September, December. I'll put that chart up, and we can get started with that. Right, exactly. Yeah, uh, what we're we're looking at, we shared this uh, about ten days ago uh, after we first did this research. And what we've done is identified a number of key pivot points uh, in the markets based on the planetary dynamics between now and the end of this December. And, uh, of course, we did this uh, based on our cycle calculations initially and then began to look for planetary factors that may coincide with that. Uh, so what we've been doing is studying that uh, to a great extent here, and in fact, uh, uh, continuing to uh, look at uh, uh, new opportunities coming out of the, the whole uh, picture here. In fact, uh, based on our work here, we have a uh, a, uh, a projection uh, today uh, as a potential entry point for a trade. Uh, this is based on one of our uh, planetary factors we have coming up in a couple of weeks here. Uh, the trans-Neptunian factor of Cupido is making a direct station. When we did our back testing and our analysis, we discovered that the optimum entry point for a trade in the S&P uh, based on that uh, planetary configuration coming up here uh, in a week and a half or so uh, is today. Uh, if you take a long position in the S&P today and then close that out on the 29th of uh, September, it's a fairly extended swing trade here, uh, but that has a 71.1% probability of being successful uh, based on the back testing for this particular strategy uh, relative to that Cupido direct station. Uh, uh, we would anticipate an average return of about one and a quarter percent, something like that, for that trade. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, if that uh, measures up with your uh, personal expectations for return and your uh, level of risk management, uh, it's something you may want to, to take a, a look at uh, there. Uh, so what we've done is actually we've uh, done an in-depth analysis with all of these uh, planetary pivot points uh, coming up between now and the end of the year. A couple of days ago, we did a, an advanced uh, training class and uh, have, have the video available now hey, let's take a break Tim when we get back we'll talk about that video that you have available okay sure thing we'll be right back with Tim Boss folks Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, and Tim's going to be telling us about this advanced trading video that you've just come up with. Uh, this is precisely time trade setups for gold, Bitcoin, and the S&P plus more. That's a pretty good video. Tell us about that. Oh, we, we had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, actually, again, we based this on our recent research into the potential pivot points in the markets based on planetary factors. And so what we did was go back and backtest each one of those and then try to determine the optimum trading strategy for each one. As we indicated uh, uh, before the break, uh, we're looking at an entry point for S&P right now based on a planetary factor that's coming up in another 10 days or so. Uh, so we don't always find the uh, exact time time of the planetary events coinciding with the best uh, time to enter the markets. And so this, this entire training video is based on uh, the analysis and uh, uh, talking about each uh, particular uh, instance and what are the uh, most advantageous uh, trade setups uh, that we've been able to determine. In some cases, uh, we recommend not trading <laughs> based on those because uh, the numbers don't add up. And so, uh, but, but there's a, a substantial percentage of these that do provide very, very strong trading opportunities all the way uh, from now through the end of December. So uh, we'll be tracking those as we go along and entering those trades. So we have the video available and uh, it's, uh, we'd encourage you to connect with that. Uh, what's the best way to connect with you for that if they're interested, there, Tim? There is a web address. Uh, go to uh, bit.ly slash PPPVID, and that's all caps. Uh, the the, mm -hmm. the bit.ly is lowercase, okay. and the, uh, the back end of that is uh, capital P, capital P, capital P, capital V, capital I, capital D. <laughs> so that'll get okay, you there. Okay, good. Okay, now we're getting to where everybody loves this part, and this is Blockchain Let's cryptocurrency talk about special. Bitcoin. Hey, and you've been <laughs> nailing it. Uh, we're above 50,000 today, I believe, in Bitcoin. I'm seeing in we, the news. We are, are indeed, indeed. And uh, in, in fact, uh, when we checked it here, uh, we were uh, courting uh, 51,000. Uh, I'm not sure where we are right this minute, but uh, about an hour ago, that's where we were. Uh, so mm -hmm. the, just a little bit of background on Bitcoin, because we've talked about in some of this in some of our previous uh, sessions together. Uh, and I think it's important to understand just how 
big this is uh, and how pervasive it is becoming uh, as uh, an alternative currency as well as a speculative proposition. In terms of the trading in Bitcoin, right now we have a market cap of uh, $956 billion, a little bit shy of a trillion, not by much, but that's a, a pretty substantial amount of money changing hands based on uh, this one cryptocurrency. During the last 24 hours, uh, the uh, uh, trading volume uh, was about $45.5 billion worth. Uh, so so it's, it's pretty uh, heavily trafficked here. Uh, the all-time high, we want to remind everybody, was uh, $64,863. Uh, that was back on the 14th of April. We saw a major pullback since then, uh, all the way back to about $28,000. Uh, and now it's bounced back up to the $50,000 range. Big, big mm. news here, however, of, at a fundamental basis as well that we want to be aware of. Uh, four days from now, coming up on the 7th of September, uh, the country of El Salvador will begin uh, using Bitcoin as legal tender. Uh, they switched to the U.S. dollar as their uh, currency a few years back. Uh, so now either dollars or Bitcoin uh, will be uh, empowered for all transactions. Uh, this was mm -hmm. an idea that the president of the country advanced uh, back in uh, May or June, and it got pretty enthusiastic support uh, from the legislature there. So they kept, uh, passed the laws making it possible, and all this is going to, to uh, break here in just a few days. We'll be watching the Bitcoin market to see what kind of response it that gives uh, to that. Uh, my guess is that this is going to be very encouraging for the bulls uh, as well uh, from a fundamental perspective. Now, uh, you know, making that kind of shift uh, currency-wise for local transactions uh, involves obviously some, uh, you know, potential bugs and challenges along the way. Uh, so there may be a, uh, some uh, negative spin from that initially until they get it all uh, firmly established. But uh, from the looks of things, they've got a pretty thorough plan for uh, introducing that and encouraging uh, citizens to use uh, this as a means uh, to to enable financial transactions, even on a small scale. Uh, so it's very interesting to see that happening. Wow. Now, you've got some stocks here listed that are, have Bitcoin exposure, you know, like Coinbase and uh, PayPal and Square. I'm familiar with those. The others I'm not familiar with at all. But uh, right. what are the, what's that and, about? And each of these is a, a different kind of um, – uh, a situation, you know, uh, with the, the, the stocks here, uh, and uh, uh, they, they have, uh, you know, differing levels of, of market cap and, uh, you know, uh, tradability. Uh, but I was doing a little bit of research here to try to find out uh, other alternative ways, let's say, of getting engaged with Bitcoin, uh, if that's uh, of, of interest uh, to, to, to viewers there. Uh, because as we, we look at uh, the stocks uh, that have that exposure, what we can expect is as there are fluctuations in uh, the trading price for Bitcoin, uh, these stocks will respond accordingly. Uh, and so uh, PayPal Square have gotten a lot of publicity in terms of accepting Bitcoin for exchange uh, uh, transactions and, and whatnot. Of course, uh, Coinbase uh, hit the markets back in, in the spring. Uh, it, it went public, uh, got a lot of attention. Uh, it was traded uh, at a pretty high price initially. It's fall, dropped back considerably since then, leveling off. Uh, but uh, yeah, so each one of these has its own uh, uh, virtues and and uh, warning bells attached. But I thought it would be interesting to share this list uh, uh, with those who are interested in looking at the broader implications of Bitcoin, uh, because certainly uh, you can uh, trade it uh, directly, and uh, there are different vehicles for for doing that. Uh, but uh, for kind of a secondary market here, we're seeing that develop as, as well. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Now let's take a quick look here at the Bitcoin chart. We're going to have a break in just a couple of minutes, but uh, well, okay. let's take a look at this and then we'll move okay, on. Okay, then we can to break the, and come back to that. Sure, what, what yes. do we need to do. So what's going on here? <laughs> and so uh, again, uh, this was uh, the chart that we've been tracking all along uh, for several months now. We've been watching uh, these eight harmonic planetary price lines for Kronos, the trans Neptunian factor uh, Kronos. And those are those horizontal lines across the chart determining various levels of support and resistance, not based on the price action, but based on the planetary positions. And that's what we find 
find interesting from our astro trading perspective here. Uh, and that uh, heavy line across the middle of the chart just above the word chronos there uh, is the first harmonic planetary line. And we've been watching that uh, very, very closely over the last uh, month, month and a half here, uh, because what happened was that it uh, determined a level of resistance initially, and in classic technical fashion, uh, once that it broke through that, that same level has now been repeatedly tested as support. Uh, and that uh, is at uh, 46,544. Uh, uh, a lot of folks round that up to, uh, to 47,000 mark. But uh, during the past uh, couple of weeks here, Bitcoin has actually broken below 47,000, but not that 46,544. Uh, so we're looking at that as uh, a very, very strong level of ongoing support at this point. Uh, now, as we continue to, to watch the trading action, uh, we're interested in seeing you know, how much higher than that it can go, obviously. Wow, that's really good. Well, Tim, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Tell us about your GAN class that's going underway. You want to give us an idea? That, sure. That yeah, started, we, we, that started already, it, I guess. Right, it has. Yeah. Hey, take take a break. Stay, uh, stay with us, Tim, and we'll okay, talk about right. that when we get back, okay? Sure thing. Tim Boss, folks, Financial Cycles Week. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Tim Boss. Tim, we have a question from one of our callers, and that sure. is, uh, what's your what's your opinion on gold and silver here? Do you have any uh, upside potential, or what are you looking at? Well, uh, right now uh, we're looking at uh, still a, a tentatively uh, bearish uh, stance on on gold. Uh, we have not uh, had a confirmed buy signal yet, uh, and it, uh, the the market has been uh, kind of te tempting us to, to shift uh, uh, angles on that. Uh, but uh, we, we're still uh, holding out with a little bearish expectations. And part of this too, we were mentioning earlier our our planetary pivot points uh, in the markets. Uh, that's through uh, studying the the uh, the next. A series coming up there, which all se seem to reinforce a, a bearish uh, perspective on gold. Uh, so that's okay. uh, something we'll, we'll, we'll remain that way. Although long term, you know, I'm very much personally a gold bug. I'm always rooting for it to go up. <laughs> but just in terms of, of what we're seeing confirmed right now, we're, we're still holding on to that uh, uh, bearish expectation. Okay. Now, you want to tell us more about your GAN class? Surely, yeah. We we began this class a couple of weeks ago here, and and it is now underway. Uh, we're about a third of the way through the the, the, the program, uh, so we have an, a number of additional uh, lessons uh, coming up on a weekly basis. Uh, what we've been doing here is uh, doing a deep dive into uh, price and time and the astrological connections uh, between the two using the GAN methodologies. And we've had a great group of students uh, from around the world, some folks uh, uh, from uh, the UK. And Australia and uh, India, as well as across the U.S., uh, and uh, so so it's ni nice to get a big group together. Uh, but we ha uh, can accommodate a couple of additional students now. If you want to join us for this class, we have recorded the two uh, previous class sessions, so we'll give you access to those videos, and then of course live access to the, the remainder of the classes, so you can be interactive with those as well. At the end of the program, uh, then we'll be editing the entire set of videos, and those who join us live for the program uh, we'll get uh, that entire uh, video edition as well Tim thanks for joining us we'll have you on in a few weeks my friend and may God bless and be safe okay have a great weekend Bye. live every day in an attitude of gratitude folks and may God bless